We're getting a brand new premium all metal construction film camera, probably coming soon as early as next year. And I couldn't be more excited about it. If you'll think back last year, I made a really doomer video about the end of film photography and what I thought the existential threats to photography were. And one of the things that I pointed to was the lack of new films and lack of new film cameras. And I thought without those things, film photography would have a hard time continuing to grow into the future. But lucky for us, it seems that some companies are stepping up to the plate and we're gonna get a slew of new products as the years go on. So this new premium compact film camera is coming from a company called Mint. And Mint kind of made their name over the past decade by releasing iterations of instant film cameras, primarily reformulations of the Polaroid SX70. What they done was they replaced a lot of the components on these cameras, refreshed some of the internals, and really made these desirable objects. Their cameras are gorgeous and they're a little bit expensive. N yeah, nobody wants me to record a video. And from Mint's own website, they state that photography is an ever-changing art form, and despite its ups and downs in the past few decades, instant film photography hasn't changed that much since the release of the SX70 in 1972. It was in September of 2009 that Mint hopped onto the scene and eventually released their updated version of the SX70. They're using actual Polaroid SX70s primarily to make these, but they're machining and manufacturing their own components to kind of make these better. Modern electronics, modern conveniences, and polishing up the design quite a bit. Later on, Mint would release their very own camera. This would be the Instaflex. This was an updated camera design. It featured a lot of modern conveniences, and this was primarily marketed at casual photographers. But they would have something for the pros as well, because eventually they would release their Instant Con. And this camera had the ability to use all manual controls, manual aperture, manual focus, and this camera was marketed more towards serious amateurs or professionals. And I think it's important to note that up to that point, all of Mint's camera designs had been instant film designs. But fast forward to the announcement of the development of their new 35 millimeter compact point and shoot camera. And in October of 2022, when they made the announcement that they were developing this camera, they made a list of few things that the camera would not be and a few things that the camera would be. And what they stated was the camera would not have Laka quality, although they wished it would. The camera would not be as heavy as a Laka and also wouldn't be a rangefinder. A few things that they said the camera would be, they said the camera would be smaller. The camera would also be one tenth of the price and the camera would also be perhaps as iconic. I like that last one that was very aspirational. We'll see if that ultimately remains to be soon. I certainly hope so. Needless to say, when they made this announcement, people were pretty excited about it. This really represented a step forward for photography's comeback. If film seeks to have any sort of relevance into the future, we're eventually gonna have to get more cameras. Mint made this announcement on their mailing list. You provide your email address to them and then they send you the link to a blog where they were making the announcement, updating from time to time and kind of giving you the latest on what's going on with the development of that camera. So, and at this point, I would highly recommend you guys go ahead and sign up for that. Um, even if you're not really interested in and buying it, it's really cool to watch the development of a camera over a period of many months, um, step to step to step. All the decisions and all the R&D that went into the making of this camera, it's really fascinating to see each decision that's made step by step. Um, right down to the texture of the outside of the camera. Um, really cool to watch that stuff come to life and gives you a real insight into how a camera would be made. So check it out, really cool. And that brings us to the most recent announcement and that was November the 9th, so two days ago as of the making of this video. This is where they go into a little more detail about what the camera is gonna be and actually show some pictures of the housing. And so Mint says, apologies for the long delay in providing an update. We have been immersed in the meticulous process of making various adjustments and conducting pre-manufacturing work. The good news is that we've successfully addressed the lot leak and viewfinder issues. In addition to implementing numerous minor design enhancements and passing rigorous tests, we're working with the first 10 pre-production units right now while digging into the remaining bugs. Mass production comes after that. After a painstaking four-year journey, we can finally announce that the design has been finalized. Now the part everybody wants to know. What will be the price of this new camera? And they state it will be between 650 and 800 United States dollars. They also clarified this camera will not be available this year, but they do state that the camera will be available next year. So that's good. They answer another question, will it be available next year? And they state very likely as early as possible next year, unless something goes terribly wrong. And this is really insightful because it provides kind of an idea of just how difficult it is to get a camera project off the ground. The R&D costs associated with developing this camera have been sky high. The mold costs, labor costs, and everything is just very expensive. Basically Mint is risking the whole company to get this project off the ground. And they go on to state, please spread the word. We want more awareness for this project. Well, Mint, ask and you shall receive. 
here we are. And they go on to say in the article, it's fascinating to look back because Mint once contemplated offering the Rolay 35, but eventually shifted our focus to the Polaroid SX70. I only later learned that the original Rolay 35 is very difficult to handle. You can only guess the focus, and it often encounters issues with the light meter. He goes on to show an image with his old business card. He says, that is my old business card we used for around six months before changing the official name to Mint. Things have gone a long way. Here's a glimpse of the new Mint 35 camera and how it compares to the original. And they've got an image here of the Mint 35 millimeter camera uh, next to one of the Rolay 35s. So I think the big takeaways from that announcement are that the camera, number one, is gonna cost between $650 and $800. It is gonna be a 35 millimeter camera. It's gonna be compact and look a lot like a Rolly 35 in terms of size, but it's gonna have a lot more complex features and hopefully be significantly more reliable. Camera looks like it's gonna have an all metal construction, at least on the outside. Uh, the body, the chassis, all that looks like it's made out of aluminum. This looks like a very ambitious project and I'm very excited about it. I think this project has bold implications for the future of film photography. Over the past year, we got a few announcements of new cameras, the most notable of which being the new Laka M6 and the Kodak Ektar plastic camera and those sorts of kind of cheap, chintzy plastic cameras. Uh, but there were no really innovative new projects, right? The Laka M6 was derivative of the original Laka. A couple videos on the channel at this point talking about the Pentax cameras that'll be coming in the future. But at least at this point, with film photography's comeback, we haven't seen a lot of newly developed modern film cameras. So I think this announcement and release of Mint's 35 millimeter compact camera is a very important moment for film photography. I think that lots of companies will have their eye on this project and see if it's gonna be profitable. And I think the better this project does, the more cameras we could potentially be getting in the future. So my hope is that Mint sells just a ton of these cameras and I hope they work well and they deliver great images for folks because if this camera is successful, I think we could have many more cameras on the way. I certainly intend to pick up Mint's camera when it's released. I would love it if they would send one for me to review on this channel in advance, but if not, I intend to buy one out of my own money. It's a really interesting camera. It looks like a great camera to slide into my briefcase and have with me all the time. But let me know in the comments, are you excited about this new camera from Mint? Is it something you're gonna think about picking up? But if you thought this video was cool, take a look at this video I made talking about two new film stocks coming from Film Ferrania that you should be able to shoot in the new Mint film camera by the time it's released. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Hey, I'm recording a video. Have a good night at work.